Hey guys, it's Hex. Today I went to the Eurogamer Expo, or EGX as they're now calling it, and for the second year running, one game stuck out as being pretty awesome. That's Y2K, a postmodern RPG. The game's build as being a combination of Earthbound and Final Fantasy gameplay, and it's very hipster on purpose. It's set in the 90s, and they even went to the extent of having an in-game web browser um, just for in-game websites, not the actual internet, that looks exactly like 90s Netscape, even as far as rendering in 4x3, which was adorable, let's be honest. The developer tweeted that yes, a Linux version is happening, although today I couldn't actually get anyone at the show to confirm it. It's looking pretty confident though. The gameplay is very formulaic and does feel just like a Final Fantasy game. Um, it's interesting though that they're developing a game that's set in the 90s without going for the pixel look. Uh, it does look mm, modern, but at the same time it's got that classical sensibility about it. The levels themselves are very angular and very flat. When you meet group members, in a very classical way, the game doesn't render them, so you can have people in your group while only ever seeing the main character outside of battle sequences. I'll also have to apologise about the footage. I didn't really intend on recording a lot and only took handheld devices. It uses classic save points, which in this case are little telephone boxes, and there are a few environmental puzzles, as well as abilities you can use out in the world, like an amp that destroys walls, apparently, and a cat that you can throw, which was also interesting. When you get into a battle in the game, uh, it does then really throw back to Final Fantasy where you've got your enemies on one side and you on the other side and then you take turns using abilities or items to go through the fight. All the enemies I encountered was interesting and it didn't really feel that difficult. The mini games for the attacks and the defences are really sequence button presses you have to sort of memorise or get good at identifying quickly. I think the more you practice, the better you'll get naturally, even outside of the levelling system. One thing I would say about it though, is the first time you see some of these abilities, it's a little bit jarring and it's hard to work out exactly what you have to do fast enough to actually fire them off. The whole game felt great to me though, and at no point did I feel like it was chorish or tired. It's something I'm really looking forward to playing, and it really was the outstanding game of the show for me today. I spent quite a while playing it and watch other people playing it and I got a real feel for it. I think it looks great. Axe Studios haven't confirmed a release date for it yet, um, but their website is sort of a blog and it's got a few YouTube videos and it's really interesting to see. So hopefully you guys will keep an eye on Y2K, a postmodern RPG as well, and let me know what you think about the game. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.